what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Kendall and here we talk about all things makeup and all things makeup related and today as you can tell by the title I am going to be trying out a few items from the Kylie Nightmare on Elm Street collection. I certainly did not have that on my bingo card for this year but uh, it definitely is interesting so let's go ahead and get right into it. When Kylie teased that she was coming out with a Halloween collection and I saw the teaser photos, I'll pop one up right here, I was for sure that it was going to be like a Carrie collection, which I thought would be really cool. Uh, and then it turns out it was Nightmare on Elm Street. I hate Nightmare on Elm Street. I actually just recently watched the one, uh, the first one that they made in the 80s, and I thought it was disgusting. Nightmare... I was about to say Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare on Elm Street is so gross. Freddy Krueger is so disgusting. So the fact that like, I don't know, like even the packaging, like this packaging particularly really grosses me out. I bought this purely because of curiosity. If you don't know, Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Cosmetics completely revamped their formula. They completely did a whole makeover. Do you really enjoy the color story for this? Love how you can get a completely neutral look, but then you also have these really beautiful, fun colors over here to jazz it up. A lot of people in the comments were really upset with the colors that she chose for this palette. And if you are a Freddy Krueger horror fan, I guess I can see why, because to me, this looks very much like a holiday Christmassy festive palette. You have this beautiful deep green over here. You have these beautiful red glitters and shimmers, this beautiful gold shimmer. Definitely Christmas vibes more than Halloween Freddy Krueger vibes, but that's just me. And then the other thing I picked up was this three piece lip set. These are her Lip Shine Lacquers. This is a new formula from what I understand. I have a ton of the matte liquid lipsticks, but these are more of a glossy texture. I really loved the colors, so I decided to pick up the trio, especially this color right here. This one is called Only a Dream. It's actually what I have on my lips right now. What I'm gonna do right now is throw up some arm swatches that I did, and then also I'm going to show each lip lacquer on my lips without a lip liner without anything else just so you can see the true color i've been out in new york city dreaming wishing you were with me girl you look so pretty going out tonight i've been missing your smile you should come and stay a while fly a couple miles let's go out tonight oh you've been running through my mind as well then sit tight and we'll get right into it okay my guys so first we're gonna take a big fluffy brush and use the shade face your fears and I'm putting that all over my eyeshadow primer that I used and that is simply just to set everything in place then I'm going to take the shade Don't Fall Asleep and that's gonna go right in the crease and I'm going in a few times to really build that color up. And I'm also going to start making the shape how I want this look to go. So I'm going to start winging it out a little bit with this shade as well. Then I'm going to dip into the shade Dream Demon and I'm going to start putting that in the outer V of my eye and also start shaping that wing a little bit more and I'm just going back into the crease and deepening it up. 
This shade looks a lot darker in the pan than it actually is. It's a really pretty berry color, so I had to dip in a few times. I've been out in Hollywood, said you'd call me, wish you would. I've been feeling pretty empty without you. Going back to the shade Don't Fall Asleep, I'm just going back over the shade Dream Demon and just blending everything out. Then I'm going to be cutting up my crease. I'm going to speed this part through because I've done this a billion and one times. Going into the shade Elm Street and I'm going to be packing that on to the inner corner of my eye and kind of just bringing it towards the center but still leaving that center space open. Such a pretty shimmer. Then I'm going to go into the shade Come to Freddy. Ew. <laughs> that name really grosses me out. Um, and I'm just packing that really pretty red berry shimmer right in the center. And I'm gonna go back and forth between that and Elm Street to really kind of mesh those colors together. So it forms a really nice gradient. Going back into the shade Dream Demon and I'm just going to add a little bit more depth into that outer V right there. For the under eye, I'm going to use the shade Dream Demon and Don't Fall Asleep and pretty much just replicate what I did on the top lid to the bottom. So I'm putting Dream Demon on the outermost corner of my eye and then I'm taking Don't Fall Asleep on the innermost. And then I'm going to take the shimmer shade Elm Street and pop that right on the inner corner. I've been out in New York City dreaming, wishing you the eyeshadow is done, so I'm going to pop on some Rare Beauty Mascara, and then I'm going to go into the lip shade Only a Dream to finish off the look. And there we go, Nightmare on Elm Street. Except, not scary. At all. Very Christmas-like. So unexpectedly, I actually really, really like this palette. All the colors that I used blended out really nicely. I was able to pack on the shimmers with little to no fallout under my eyes. I think these shimmers really pack a punch. I think they're really, really pretty. And the mattes, the mattes that I used blended out seamlessly. Everything was super pigmented and I'm... I'm honestly really, really impressed and I can't wait to do another look with this. This definitely performs way better than any of my other Kylie Cosmetics palettes that I've used. This kind of makes me want to get the gold birthday palette, the 24, 24 karat collection that she came out with. It definitely makes me want to get that palette. Again, if you're looking for something that is very Halloween, very... Um, like out there, this isn't the palette for you, but if you're someone like me that really enjoys neutrals but has the option to dip into any of these fun colors to really vamp it up or really make it a little more dramatic, then I think you'll really, really enjoy this palette. I think the price point on this is really fair too. You get 12 shadows for $30. In, in my opinion, the quality is there. So if you were on the fence about picking this up, I would say go for it. I, just upon my first impression, first time use, I really enjoyed it. I'm obsessed with the lip lacquers. <laughs> Obviously they're not matte, so I'm sure once I start eating and drinking, they're going to start fading off my lips, but they feel very on there. And they're not, well, they might have the, they have the slightest stickiness to them, but not anything that's gonna bother me. I don't like sticky glosses, and this is just, like it feels slightly tacky, but, it's like slightly tacky to where it reinforces that it's on there and it's gonna stay on there. Like I don't foresee this, like some glosses I'll put on and you can kind of feel them slipping and sliding. This I can tell is gonna stay put and this color in particular, Only a Dream, I love it. This is my kind of lip color. It's like subtle, kind of like your lips for your lips but better and that really beautiful like just like just delicious pink color. I love it. So I do actually recommend the lip lacquers from Kylie Cosmetics so far. So good. I think 
it's really pretty and I think it makes my lips look really juicy and nice. All right, so that is my little review of the new Kylie Cosmetics Nightmare on Elm Street collection. What a random collab, but uh, it gets it gets an A plus in my book. I really did enjoy everything, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know if you picked up the collection. I know there was also some eyelashes and then a weird like cheek jelly. I didn't get the eyelashes because I don't wear false eyelashes. They really irritate my eyes. And then the lip jelly, that texture just looked real unfriendly to me. I don't want anything to do with it. So that, <laughs> that kind of formula I will not be picking up because it's... Ugh. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. And that is it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.